Hi, everybody. Dugras here with Dugras Reports. Today, we'll be taking a quick look at the Capital One Venture X card. Specifically, we're going to talk about the travel credit, which I used, and the sign-up bonus, which I have now obtained. It's always good to just verify that the advertised features of a card work as intended. So I'll show you how that worked in my case. Before I get into the details, though, on this channel, we talk about finding epic value, including credit card rewards, transfer partners to use for the average American. If that sounds interesting to you, please subscribe to the channel. Please click the thumbs up button. Make a comment below. I'm over halfway to 1,000 subscribers and getting monetized, and that'll help me bring videos like this to even more people. Let's dive in. The annual travel credit on the Venture X card, you get a $300 statement credit when you make purchases through Capital One Travel, in other words, through their portal for airfare, rental car, hotels, etc. It says you should see that within seven business days. So let's take a look at how I used it. I stayed with my family at the Blue Wave Inn in Ashland, Wisconsin. This is a boutique hotel not part of any chain, but yes, you were able to book it through the Capital One portal, which I was glad for. Ashland, Wisconsin is at the very tippity top of Wisconsin, part of the small coast that borders Lake Superior. Uh, you can see king size bed, had a sofa bed too, and a private balcony. The private balcony was great for looking out at Lake Superior, very calm, we really liked it. There's what the building looks like, all the rooms are on the third floor. Uh, the first floor has a cafe as well as a sports wear and sports apparel shop, which was nifty. The sunsets were just killer. I won't go into a lot of detail on that. I did do a different video where I uh, did like a travel log. I'll put a link up there in the corner or in a pinned comment down below, if interested. Transactions. So right here, uh, May 16th, I made the charge. On my VentureX card for the Blue Wave in, it was $637, so more than enough to cover that travel credit. And yes, indeed, four days later, the $300 travel credit did appear on my statement. How did that affect rewards? Well, the transaction itself earned me 5,377 Capital One miles. That's because you get 10x on any hotel and rental car booking through the travel portal, and 5X on flights through the travel portal. Obviously, this was a hotel, so the 10X did apply. And the great thing was, when they applied the credit, they did not pull back any points. So even though I got credit for it, I got full points. And just to prove that I know what it would look like if it was pulled back, here's a transaction where we made a small return to Walmart, and they took away seven miles. So that was May 17th. We're already at uh, June 20th on the day I'm recording this, and they still haven't pulled it back. So I don't think they're going to. So my working theory is you actually earn on anything used for your travel credits. So if you spent exactly $300 on a hotel or rental car as part of your VentureX travel credit, you would get 3,000 points, uh, which would be the equivalent of $30 if you use the travel eraser feature. So in a way, you can actually think of it not as a $300 annual statement credit, but a $330 uh, statement credit in a roundabout way. The sign-up bonus. Now, at the time I applied, the sign-up bonus was spend 10,000 points, you get 100,000 miles, and I have now met that. Uh, that posted on June 2nd, and it posted within about a week of when I actually met the sign-up bonus. The current sign-up bonus is a little different, so let's go over to their website and take a look at that. So the current sign-up bonus on the Venture X is right here, 75,000 miles. You have to spend $4,000 within three months, different than the sign-up bonus I had, but that's still pretty good and frankly a lot more attainable for some people than $10,000 and you do get 10,000 miles anniversary bonus. Um, if you use that in the travel portal for hotels or rental cars, that would actually be like 13,000 miles. And here's that $300 annual travel credit. The annual fee itself is $400. So if you use the $300 travel credit plus the 10,000 miles plus the 
3,000 miles that you would earn, that's essentially like they're paying you $30 to have the card every year. So I think it's a keeper card. There is a refer a friend bonus you can get in the card. If you refer someone else, you get 25,000 points if they're approved for the card. This is my friend that I'm thinking about referring. This is my wife, Debbie, and I. Now, you might notice this picture is a little out of date. This is actually 21 years ago on our honeymoon. We went to Lake Superior then, too, so it was at the front of my mind. Uh, she looks just as good as ever. I've changed a little in that amount of time. But I'm considering referring her for the VentureX card, doubling up on those points, um, transferring to myself, and then having even more VentureX points. There is going to be a refer a friend link in the description box or a pinned comment. If you're considering the VentureX, I would really appreciate it if you would use my link, help support this channel so I can make other videos like this. So let me know what your thoughts are. I'd love to hear them. Questions about the VentureX card? Would you like me to do more content on how I'm using specific transfer partners or the travel eraser or just what I'm thinking of using? Let me know. And as always, may your spending be frugal and may your points be plenteous. Thanks for watching.